Hi, I see. I see. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks. And you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Topic five. A place to visit in the future. Describe a place away from your home you want to visit in the future. You should say where this place is, who you would like to go with, what you would do there, why you want to go to this place. Okay, so think about a place. Um, you want to visit. Where the place is, why you would like to go what you would like to do, why you want to visit, who you would like to go to. Okay. So think about a place. Remember, we need to start with an introduction. So start with the introduction. The place that I want to visit in the future is uh, America. Okay, America, um, why? Um, the reason why that uh, America is a place that I'd like to visit in the future because um, in America is a uh, English language that I can easy to make new friend and speak with other people. And I also enjoy the beautiful scenes of America, uh, like a structure, uh, structures, uh, a beautiful structures of America. Um, and I would like to go with my family that uh, and I think that my family is very excited when uh, when they go to America. Okay, and um, so where in America would you like to go? Uh, pardon? Where in America? America is very big. So where in America would you like to go? Um, I would like to go uh, to the beach. But now this is okay, but you have to say now remember you can't just say I have to go to the beach. The beach America is big and there's lots of beaches. You can go to Miami, Hawaii, um Florida, California. So you need to think of a place. You can't just say I want to go to America. You have to say, um, I would like to go to Florida, which is in America. So which city would you like to go to? Remember, America is a country. Which city would you like to go to? Washington, D.C., Florida, Hawaii, um, Vegas. There's lots and lots of places. Texas, lots of places in America. Um, Washington, D.C. Okay, Washington, D.C. So let's say... Um, have you been? Have you traveled a lot before in the future? In the past, have you traveled before? No. Okay, so it's the first time that you will travel overseas. Um. Okay, let's type here. Well, if I get a, if I get the opportunity to visit any place I want. There is no doubt that America 
would be at the top of my list. Okay, that's your introduction. You want to go to America. If I get the opportunity to visit any place I want, there is no doubt that America would be at the top of my list. Um, America um, is known for the first world country. English is the main language um, and um, lots of famous people like movie stars live there. Um, America has a rich history which I would like to learn about. Um, there are stunning beaches. Um, uh, My language and also famous people. Um, okay. America is known for the first what is known. No, let's say we'll say the English later. Let's say America is known um America has stunning beaches. Um, a vibrant culture and a big variety of landscapes. Um, it is a place that has captured the imagination of travelers worldwide and one that I would love to visit in the future. Lots of people would like to go to America. A stunning beaches, a vibrant culture. Remember, the culture is, um, there's lots of different people living in America. Um, so lots of freedom. So you can be your own person, your own culture, your own language. There's lots of, um, lots of freedom in America. Um, it is a place that has captured just spell this right. Captured the imagination of travelers worldwide and one that I would love to visit in the future. Okay. When would you like to go to America? When do you think you would like to go? And who would go with you? Um, my family. Okay, and who is going with you? Oh, your family, and when are you going? Uh, when I complete the university. Okay, so when? What? When in the? Do you want to go in the summer? In the winter? Mm -hmm. I want to go in the winter. In the winter, remember, remember there's snow. There's not a lot to see. The places are closed. Roads are closed. Lots of like beaches. You can't go to the beach in the winter. You said you want to go to the beach. You can't go to the beach in the winter. So um, I would say summer would be the best time because then lots of places are open. Beaches, um, tourist attractions, lot of, lots of things are open. Um, I want to go to the summer. Um, okay, so let's say the when first. So the best time to visit 
America. So now you have to say the city. You have to choose, say Washington, D.C., or you have to choose a city. The best time to visit America would be during the dry season, which runs from May to September. During this time, the weather is sunny and warm. It is the perfect weather for exploring the many attractions including the beautiful beaches. Okay, now you're gonna say who you would like to take. I would love to go with my family members who share the same interest as me. Um, there is so much to see and do in America. Um, okay, now you're going to say the reason. The reason why I would like to visit America. What is your reason you would like to visit America, I see? Mm. Uh, America is the place where I have a, a English language and I can easy to uh talk with to uh, talk with other people and make friends. Mm. Is that the is that the only reason why you want to go? Is because they speak English. They speak English in South Africa, Australia, England, lots of other places speak English as well. So that can't be your only reason. Lots of other countries also speak English. So and why would you like to go um, to America? Uh, it's a um, big country mm -hmm. and have many uh, big cities and, and modern. And okay. I want to uh, visit uh, the countries. Um, cities okay the reason why i would like to visit america um is to learn about the different cities and what they have to offer i would love to explore these um activities um, and further my uh, I would to learn about the different cities and what they have to offer. I would love to explore these activities. Okay. Uh, now you're going to Say your conclusion, you're going to end it off now. Okay, so now you can say, overall, America is a place that, or is a country that has so much to offer from its rich um, diversities or from its rich um, culture and history to its stunning um, beaches. I hope to visit this beautiful country in the future and experience all 
that it has to offer. Okay, see if you can read it for me. Yeah, you can read it, I see. Uh, well, I, well, if I get the opportunity to visit any place I want, there is no, uh, no doubt that America will be at the top of my list. No doubt. Put down. Uh, America has stunning, stunning, uh, rich, uh, vibrant cultures and a big variety of landscapes. This is, is a place that have uh, captured uh, the imaginations of traveler worldwide and one that I would love to visit in the future. The best time to visit America would be during the dry seasons, which runs from May to September. During this time, the weather is sunny and warm. It is the perfect weather for exploring the many attractions including the beautiful beach i will love uh, to attractions go. and beaches you have to say the s okay yeah. attractions and beaches attractions including the beautiful beaches uh, i would love to go with my family members who shares the same interest as me there's so much to see and do in america the reason why I would like to visit America is to learn about the different cities and what they have to do offer to offer. I would love to explore these activities. Uh, overall, America is a country that has too much to offer from its rich cultures and history to its stunning beaches. I hope to visit these beautiful countries in the future and experience all that it has to offer. Okay. So I want you to read it one more time for me, okay? Yeah. Well, if I get the opportunities to visit any place I want, there's a dog, uh, there's no dog that America would be at at the top of my list. America has stunning beaches, a vibrant cultures, and a big variety of landscapes. This is a place that has captured the imaginations of travelers worldwide and one that I would love to visit in Travelers America. worldwide. Travelers worldwide. Travelers worldwide and one that I would love to visit in the future. The best time to visit America will be during the dry season, which runs from May to September. During this time, the weather is sunny and warm. This is the perfect weather for exploring the many attractions, including the beautiful beaches. I would love to go with my family members who share the same interests as me. There's so much to see and to do, uh, and do in America. The, re the reason why I would like to visit America is to learn about the different cities and what they have to do offer. They would, uh, I would love to explore these activities, activities uh, overall. America is a America is a country that has too much to offer.
from its rich cultures and history to its stunning beaches. I hope to visit his, this beautiful country in the future and experience all that it has to offer. Okay, one more time, then I'm going to see if you can remember, okay? Uh, well, if I get the opportunities to visit any place I want, there's no doubt uh, that America will be at the top of my list. America has stunning beaches, a Brian cultures, and a big variety of landscapes. This is a place that has captured the imagination of traveler worldwide and one that I would love to visit in the future. The best time to visit America would be during the dry seasons, which runs from May, from May to September. During this time, the weather is sunny and warm. It is the perfect weather for exploring the many attractions, including the beautiful beaches. I would love to go with my family's members who share the same interest as me. This is, but there is so much to see and do in America. The reason why I would like to visit America is to learn about the different cities and what they have to offer. I would love to explore these activities. Overall, America is a country that has too much to offer from its rich cultures and history to its uh, stunning beaches. I hope to visit these beautiful countries in the future and experience all that it has to offer. Okay, let's see if you can remember it now. Okay, talk about a place you would like to visit in the future. Uh, well, uh, if I get the opportunity to visit any place I want, uh, there's no doubt, no doubt that America would be, uh, be at the top of my list. Uh, America has uh, beaches and a, uh, a, a vibrant cultures and a big varieties of landscape. Um, this is a place that has captured the imagination and travelers worldwide and one that I would love to visit in the future. Uh, the best time to visit uh, America that I would be is during the dry seasons which run from May to uh, September. During this time, the weather is sunny and warm. This is uh, it's the perfect, uh, perfect weather to exploring, uh, exploring many attractions, uh, and beautiful beaches. Uh, I would love to go with my family member uh members. and members. members members um there's so much to see and do in America um the reason why the reason why that I like to visit the America is um, to learn about different cities and um, what they do offer uh, I would love to explore this track, uh, uh, activity. Of, um, overall, uh, America is a country that has too much to offer from its rich culture and history to its 
stunning beaches. I hope to visit this beautiful country um, in the future and um and all that is offered. All that it has to offer. All that oh. it has to offer. So that's when we see um topic. Oh, let's go to five. Okay, games. Do you think winning is the most important goal for playing games? Mm, yes, uh, I think that winning is a uh, um most important role for playing game. That um, uh, my opinion that um, when you are winning for a, a game, that you will feel happy in uh. Um, like the let's okay, try again. Do you think winning is the most important goal for playing games? Oh uh, well, I wouldn't say this is the most important role as playing games. It's much more than just winning. It's uh, it is also great socializing experience, teamwork, and cooperation. Yeah, but we're not going to read. We're not going to read this video. I want our own ideas. Okay. So let's say. Um, a win is a, is an easy. Self, confidence boost which is a big a big deal for many young uh, children um, winning motivates one to continue playing however, Winning is not the most important goal. The goal is to have fun with your friends or family members, as well as furthering your skills. Remember, when you play a game, there's skills involved. You either have to think um, a certain way to win the game, you have to maybe be good at maths, counting, throwing dice, um, any game. There's a skill that you need to have to win the game. And it teaches you how to think. So if you lose, it teaches you how to think um, in a different way. So then you look at your family members, how they can win the game, and you try and play like they play. So a win is an easy self-confidence boost, which is a big deal for young people because they feel good about themselves, which is good. But winning is not the only thing that's important. It's important to have fun and to enjoy your time with your family and friends. And you can learn a new skill above that. Okay, see if you can read here for me. Uh, a win is an easy self-confidence boost. 
which is a big deal for many young children. Winning motivates one to continue playing. However, a uh, playing. However, winning is not the most important goal. Uh, the goal is to have fun with your friends or family members as well as for uh, furthering your skills. Okay. What games do you play with your family members or with your friends? Mm, yeah, many uh, kind of game that I play uh, with my friends. Mm -hmm. That like uh, a hand six, five and twelve and So you like to play hide and seek? What else do you like to play? Uh, badminton. Badminton? Uh, yeah. Okay, any other games you like to play? Um, table tennis. Yes. What else do you like to play? That's enough. Uh, what's your favorite game? Uh, my favorite game is badminton. Badminton. Do you win when you play badminton? Uh, uh, I often play badminton when I have free time. And I played badminton with my, with my sister. Okay. Do you think winning is the most important goal for playing games? Uh, can you repeat the question? Do you think winning is the most important goal for playing games? Uh, a win is an easy self-confident boost, which is a big deal for many young children. Uh, winning motivate one is to con one to continue playing. However, winning is not the most important role. The goal is to have fun with your friends and or families members as well as furthering your skills. Furthering your skills, okay. Now let's go to the next one. When do you think, which do you think are better, indoor or outdoor games? Which games are better? Um, in my opinion, I prefer playing uh, outdoor games that I think is good for uh, for health and um, that people can enjoy their um, fresh atmosphere. Mm. So outdoor games is better? Yes. Okay, why is outdoor games better? Um, because uh, that outdoor game is uh, has more activities that uh, we can do, like um, and it have a big 
big place to play your games and this also have a uh, fresh air and good uh, atmosphere okay um why do you think team like uh, a team game to play in a team together to win what is good about that what does that teach the children I see. Yes. You're going to answer, I see. I a team game. What does that teach you? When I when I play on my own, like tennis, like table tennis, I I'm playing. I'm not playing with you. I'm playing for myself. And I if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. It's myself. But what can you benefit from playing with a team? What must you do when you play with a team? Uh, that is. Mm -hmm. that uh, it's more fun and when uh, we, we win that we that, um, win together and um, happy and that work at the team. Okay, so the benefit of playing in a team is that you need to make decisions with your team members. You can't just make a decision on your own because you're not playing on your own. You're playing with your team. So you need to make a group decisions and work as a team. You have to develop thinking skills. So who you need to throw the ball or pass the ball to. Um, you can... Now, when I am weak at keeping goalie, you may, might be a good goalie. So then you are going to be the goalie. So you work on each other's strengths and weaknesses. If I'm weak at something, you are good at it. If you are uh, weak at something, I'm good at it. So we are going to work together with our good parts and bad parts. That is good. Like for table tennis, if I can't serve the ball well, then I'm going to lose. But if you can serve well, then I can win with you. So we have to work on each other's um, strengths and weaknesses. We, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Okay. So um, why do you think outdoor games is better? Um, I prefer, uh, I think that uh, outdoor games is better than uh, indoor games because um, there are more activities when we are outside and can have the uh, fresh air and enjoy the great atmosphere and it has a big place to do many things uh, many games like uh, yeah okay um how how can it how can you benefit from playing in a team what can you learn from your team members hmm. uh i think that the um, playing team game is how uh of children to learn colorful great as a, a group um, 